go. Nice! Give me triple here. Nice! Welcome guys, it's Xbait Mojo. We have new dollar ring buffs. It's basically 18 ability power and 90 health from now on. So we're gonna test it out and let's see how it's gonna work in the game. To me, it sounds like a really great buff compared to the Dark Seed that just got changed by the only 10 health. As well, the runes are on the on the screen. Thank you for all the people for active in the comments. Matchup against Talon is pretty simple. It's just you can't get abused level 2. So right now, first minute of the second wave. And we cannot as well let him W us twice. If you get two stacks on your chest, you just cannot walk up. Play it slow, don't stress. I normally ward as well for my jungler, the raptors, so he, they can't invade into him. This time I forgot because I started recording late. Okay. Yeah, you see, if he doesn't proc the third stack, then we are quite chill, really, with the just playing normally. I wouldn't even encourage my jungler to come here. It's a bit pointless, I would say. Okay, nice gank, bro. I can't do further than that. Good try. Don't worry. It's all good. I, I don't blame you. Take it chill, bro. Take it chill. I'm even in CS. Talon is just pushing. I generally don't like when they do transition gank, my junglers, because they are more prone to getting invaded afterwards and stuff, you know? So that's basically what I'm trying to avoid. This Talon combinations are a bit weird. He scared me. But he wanted the minion. As you see, it's just chill. If the wave pushes into him, that's the worst of what can happen on this lane. Like right now, for example. This one is thinking. You see? But because he poked me, the wave started a bit uncrashing, so it's not that bad. But, but it is usually worse. I'm pinging to this guy that he can't contest because I have no prio. And I'm not gonna have that prio, my friend. That's normal. You can't help early as Kassad and it's really rare that you will have a chance in to, to help. Why I'm not pushing hard? Because I won't make it in time to crash under his turret, so I'm really slowing down the wave. Because that's just the hardest thing that always is happening. <clears throat> I'm just hoping he will keep on pushing into me so I can lane. Otherwise, that's a bit more rough for us. Duran Ring... For now, really chill. <clears throat> Listen is a bit angry. He's not gonna have a second scuttler, but that's natural, bro. Don't worry about it. Take it easy. We're gonna receive this wave and then we're gonna reset. We don't want a gank from the Lee because it's turbo scary. He might die or something. I need to get this cannon. I will do it right now to avoid. Okay, if he got into stacks, I would need to walk away, you know, because I would be prone to getting dove basically. But luckily, he didn't get two stacks on me. But well, if he would got under the turret, then I'm not walking because it's too risky, basically. Okay, uh, emo, I reset, I get blasting when I'm not gonna flip one more. Or generally, we can stay. This guy is looking for a hard crash, so we do hard crash with him. We receive the wave. And often when you just go back like I did, you can get it. You can get the wave really easily. Because they not gonna... They're not gonna think that you bait the recall, yeah? So they will push and then you get a reset. By the way, really bad by Talon because what he did is that he basically gave me a handshake wave on the mid. So the wave connected on the center of the wave and it's right now pushing equally. Unless the levels are turbo, turbo uh, higher than on the other team, then the minions have a buff. But generally, when you get a handshake wave, you can walk by foot. And that's something that you don't usually want to give to the Kasadin. So right now we are okay. Almost level 6, just one minion. And we have TP diff, so that's really good. Okay, that was a mistake. I got electrocute proc. But the rest is okay. Now careful with matching Talon room timers, he will often turn at you, so we just we are just here to stalk. 
But this is a bit scary, genuinely. I wouldn't force it, what the fuck. Oh my god, I didn't steal the kill. And I missed my E, but it's okay, this worked actually. So Talon went with the temptation, same as this scene, but our temptation was better. So let's wait for the wave that is coming here, so I have a better position to crush it. Then we're gonna crash and look for an efficient reset to get like a tier, so we can start stacking. Boom, boom. Make sure you hit as many minions as possible when you crash the wave. Okay, good. Usually they are good, they just try to stop your reset, so make sure you not reset here, but you actually reset in a really good spot that cannot be stopped. <clears throat> tier plus... Boots is okay in this situation, one control ward to provide more comfort to my team. We don't have to TP because we are fast enough with the rift walks, plus we have the shoes. Talon will be roaming after this wave most likely, so we need to signalize it to the team. The running so far pretty cool, uh, really chill last hits with it, I like it. Now guys, it's 7 minutes into the lane, what is okay to do is toward the center of the lane, so we can see what opponent is gonna do after crashing the waves. I as well do something like this to cover myself here and to show where he will be roaming. So I do like a anti-roam ward against Talon for my team. That's how you provide them the value. And look, that's how you crash. If someone tells me that you as a Kasadi needs a he Hextech Demetralizer for minions, you don't, bro. Uh, only if you really need to fix the wave somehow. But generally, you don't. Oh, he just... Okay, so he when he gets a ward, I will just push the wave, meanwhile. Quickly. I max W with Conqueror always. For a cannon, I will need to sweat, probably. No, it's fine. I'm not gonna force, but I get a timer now. So I'm gonna look Renekton. So whenever you crash a wave, we wanna be more proactive, so... Just scouting around, looking if I can cover something, checking for the wards. This is basically the proactivity, yeah? Oh, for example, here we can find a Nautilus on the top lane who's about to... ...who's about to go for my Irelia. I can't sadly get... and. Will she just die? Okay. I'm not gonna die with her because if I die with her I lose so much. Uh, and I can't take down the Talon with the Conk build here. He will dash anyway. Uh, not needed by Lisin to go in. I just don't have Electrocute, I have Conqueror so I didn't wanna force the play. Because that could end up worse. If he gets it, it's good. I'm gonna push, then I will recall and back up for the top lane. I, I was considering generally doing that a bit sooner, but should be fine. I'm just greedy, what can I say? Uh, I see the ward is here. I'm just watching. They should be fine without me. Nice. Okay. I will stay one more. They are fighting a lot. So I will stay one more, I crash one more, Talon is coming to them. And if he stops, that means he he saw that I'm staying too. So I stay one more and then I will reset on a cannon wave. Because if I reset right now, I wouldn't make a pressure to threaten the Talon ROM timer. And I wouldn't have a cannon reset. Actually, it's not cannon reset yet. So I would need to stay one more. I can stay one more. I will stay one more, then I reset on the cannon with the... On the Catalyst of Aenos. Then... She might get off by town. Yes. I couldn't TP for this. I get a plate. Dragon is soon spawning, so we need to get ready for it. But I just wanna get a one plate at least. Still. Okay, now I reset and I'm ready to TP for the dragon if we're gonna be contesting it. Hopefully Morgana doesn't stop me here. They will be setting it up. I have TP. I TP. Go this. I TP to cover this. I could have waited actually. 
I could have waited because I would encourage more people to come. But it's fine. We just go dragon, go. So for the dragon it's okay, could be just more bait here from my side. They can't fight us. I'm quite bulky. I'm as well going conditioning to scale. Now we receive the wave, then we go to the dragon to make sure that everything is okay. When he have W I can't fight, when he doesn't have W I can fight. So now I can walk the way I want, because he used his most important spells. So when the, they, they don't have W, you can do most of the stuff, basically. Plus we are bulky, we have as well Doran Ring on 90 health, so it's all chill. Rod of Ages are coming pretty soon, so like XP please, so like XP please, that's something you should have on your notepad or in macro, that will write it for you. Same as Sol XP, I'm 16 almost. Those are the things you need to tell your teammates because some, they just really like to share stuff with you. Okay, go Roa. Fast reset Roa or bot lane, what do you think? Go bot. Go bot, they are trolling, bro. <clears throat> I'm waiting. Nice. I was waiting to make sure that she doesn't use flash with my R. So you keep your R as a finisher blow often when you don't know if they are flash or not. And if they can't run away, then <clears throat> don't use Rift Talk Insta because you don't know what will happen, yeah? So you use Rift Talk a bit later on. We get this wave, then we help them. I didn't press W, but I don't know how. He can't kill me. I'm too bulky. I will get you, bro, if you walk. My spacing isn't that bad. Okay. Nice. I have Roa in base, but it's just a lot of stuff. Okay. I'm going top. I see there is some stuff going on, so I'm just gonna cover her. Will she just chase like this? I catch aggro. <laughs> I don't know, I stacked so much, but... Nice, good job. Nice Jordan, bro. Michael Jordan, thank you, bro. Okay, we reset, we get rid of ages, I can go sideline. Uh, go Ionian Boots, go Ruby, perfect. She will take the, the wave, she could just go bot. I, I, I'm forced to go top lane now, I don't like it. She, she, she could just go top, I would receive the top wave, I would receive the mid wave. Now I'm forced to play on the top side when I'm doing okay. But it's fine because there is no hard objective on the map. And I'm as well strong, so we are chilling. Will he walk? No, he doesn't walk, he's not stupid, he wants to win. Okay, we are 11, huge. I have my conditioning spike already too. So 10 armor, 10 magic resist more. Ionian boots for the CDR. We hard crash the wave, then we go leave the side lane and we're gonna make sure that our team is doing good. Okay, nice. CS is 136 against Talon player. Can I blue or... You give, you give or no? Nice, FFX. Okay, so they got picked. Okay, nice, then I walk through. A bit faker moves, bro. I'm looking, but there is not much that I can realistically commit to. She, they are juking. That's too much. Unconsistent it is becoming, what can I say? What is this bro, Faker? I recall I get Kindle gem, I need solo XP, that's all I need. I'm efficient in this game, so I just gotta keep the consistency. Dragon is main fight, we win the game at the Dragon. I'm really strong and bulky, don't think so, something bad will happen there. We win this. I have TP. Go. 
Nice! Give me triple here. Nice! Good job. I can def top, I have TP. I don't have TP, but it's okay, I can def it. We do both, basically. I went with more tanky build because they are really, really... They have a lot of ID in their team. I'm watching. Nice, I got her. Ah, she got the turret still. Dragon. I'm gonna reset for the Archangel in a moment, just getting one more wave quite fast here. I Riftwalk for 600. There is a bug that you sometimes have a timing where you Riftwalk for 80 damage, but it counts as 640. Okay, nice. Let's go to the mid lane. Before you help your teammates with the dragon, it is the healthiest that you catch the mid wave first, then you rotate to them to keep the healthy order of the stuff in League of Legends. I always tell my students, first you always receive the wave, then you go, then you try to help the team. This way you keep up the healthy pressure on the map. I'm gonna cover now. On my way. Nice. Guess what? Oh, I then hit the hitbox. I will die probably here by Talon or something. I was about to R flash, but I didn't R flash properly. That was so cringe, bro. I didn't R flash. Like I pressed R flash and I only alt. So that means I just fucked up something. That's so cringe. I wanted to do like a smooth double kill here. That was basically the intention, but it's okay. I'm insanely scaled. We just do Rabad on Fert and it's all good. And I'm tanky. I'm 3000 health. I go there. I mean, Irelia have no TP. I don't like Irelia going there. I would rather want to go there. I'm Kasadin, pretty close to 16, but okay. I will stay mid. Can I go in on Talon like a casual? Yes. Ah, oh, I thought he would miss Aker. Pretty soon we need to reset for a large shot. Okay, I'm gonna reset get a large shot. And then we play around Nashor. I'm not going Zonia, I'm too strong, I'm too tanky to go Zonia, come on. And I have Conk. This is such a bad rotation, bro. M top is mine, mid lane was yours. You didn't have to rotate here. Common sense. In rotations. Two people are bot, we need to get a peek there and it's fine. I'm almost on Dark Archangel, fully stacked, which is good. Mid lane, mid lane, guys, don't force. We need to catch the mid lane. There is no rush. We are turbo scaling this game. But just catch the mid lane, please. Okay, they need to dev the top side right now, so I'm gonna make a rotation on them while they are busy catching the top side. Let me scout around. I'm gonna watch. We have two winning side lanes. This game is unlosable. This game is literally unlosable. Okay, I just don't chase here, but I can fight. Pretty fun. Same as this Morgana, bro. I almost died, by the way, by this faker on Wayne. Nice, got all now. Alright, almost Rabad on triple kill. I'm level 16 in a moment too. You can't kill me, don't try. I really is still winning. Of course I could have played a bit better, I agree. Don't Rift talk now, Talon might be cheesing. How much gold do I need? 400. I'm gonna take his camps. Good thing about Roa, when you have so much AP, it's that you do the camps way faster. I mean, I just have more AP, so... And I have mana to, first of all, get them. I wouldn't rush, just need 16. And I can do this Rift Walk. And this too. This I don't like that much, because I'm on Rabadon almost. And they could come for 4 for, for versus 4. This can end up really badly. I can tell you. 
But harder game, we don't mind. Go harder game then, bro. Okay, we get it. Let him... Now don't one-shot it, let him secure this. And get ready soul IFTP. I go Raba now. I TP both side, so I'm gonna look for a flank. Or they will come to me, we'll see. No, I might get CC'd. Okay, good. Nice, bro. I see where did you go. It's fine, we get soul. Ah oh, no, they got in it, lol. I could go Wayne and Nautilus, but I found Talon just more consistent and safer to go for. That's in short. What was my ID? Just get this. Pass, pass, Talon will look for you. I go mid now, I'm almost 16, just one minute. Like one minute, I'm 16, 23 minutes, 11, 0, 1. The items. No chance that we lose this game ever. I'm just looking around to make them more afraid. So they get a bit confused what I'm doing. I'm covering my team and waiting for Roa to get 16. Nice. It's like I'm some Power Rangers or something. Okay, I will push top. I will push top lane, that makes most sense now. Roa and 16 is like 1v9. Team is doing okay. Don't. Okay, fine. Okay, nice. Well played, good dive. Typical, 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 go in too deep, I couldn't reach. It was just not necessary. We are turbo winning, why would we take the risk, by the way? Like, why would we take the risk? Is this a need to take the risk right now? No. Not at all. Like, not at all. They don't win. We outscale and stuff. So, no need to take those risks, by the way. Let me just reset and I get them. I will go Void stuff now. No, I will go Zonia. To make sure I don't fuck this up. Zonia will help me at this point of the game. I can wreck them. Just a matter of reaching. This Nautilus is pretty interesting. I can go on him really hard. I don't want the wave, I want kills, bro. But now I don't have aura clans. I don't like those aura clans changes. It makes me hard. It's harder to to look for stuff now. Remember when you're hard winning, it's so not worth to take those kind of risks because uh, opponents have so much to gain and we have so less to and we have so much to lose in short words. Now, I'm, since I'm so strong, I will look for some stuff, of course. I just need to let it go out of CD. Nice, another faker, bro. Max range ward. Okay, coming. I'm not gonna go. I just want to push. This probably is worth it, yes. Nice. Nice, we won. GG. Pretty chill game, guys. I like it. Let's go. Nice, nice. Cool game. So we finished 5-15-04-235 CS, Talon matchup, Diamond 2, Diamond Diamond 2 around Elo. So guys, this is how the current Duran ring is like. Let me know in comments how did you like the videos. For one-on-one -on -one coaching, metafight.com, sorry, metafight.gg, Xblade Mojo. Link in description, all roles, all champions. And feel free to subscribe, see you next video. Appreciate your support lately, guys. Thank you. Let's make something good out of it. Bye bye. I'm gonna take a second to let man work with Mojo. He's been a perfect coach. I've worked with a lot of coaches over the years. Actually, he's far and away one of the best. Thanks for teaching me so much more.